shows up or something on this one, you know. this year with low expectations it's the same thing every year you know we get to scouting in in november pretty much the whole month every weekend and we're always on the phone with each other talking about how you know where we found them and how many we found and we swear up and down that nobody knows where these birds are even though we know better than that uh, the night before the opener cooper called me and said that their plan was they were going to get a bunch of cane and we we're going to go find a mud flat in the middle of the, the water and set up on it and we found a lot of birds. What's up? Uh, I'm not really a big duck hunter. I've been duck hunting for probably two years. Um, so duck hunting to me is new. Uh, I've enjoyed it. I've learned a lot duck hunting with these guys. Um, they've been doing it a while. So that is something that's interesting to me is just see how they hunt birds, um, which is just a lot different than what I do deer hunting. You know, interesting thing is we hunted together in the same group, same blind, but we were never on the same team. I always got shafted. I was on the, the, the wrong side of the blind, it seemed like. The Pintails, Austin famously, you know, shot before anybody was ready. When he saw that sprig, again, famously commented that, you know, that's why you're hot on the trigger. You get the Pintail. All right, so the season's over. Be honest. What, what do y'all think? How'd it go? It was fun. I mean, it was, it was long. Yeah. We killed a lot of, a lot of good ducks too, though. There was quality ducks, yeah. uh, and and like you alluded to, you know, there was a lot of them that died in the decoys. Uh, a lot of years we're we're shooting flyby shots, and to be honest with you, you know, the way we hunt is is we we set the decoys in such a way where we do have flyover yeah. shots for multiple different reasons. You know, maybe uh, we're hunting a tree line, or maybe we have a bad wind, but we have water level that's an issue that we have to be at a certain spot, so. You know, sometimes we designed the decoys in such a way where we were able to shoot, where we had to shoot flyover shots. But this year, uh, we were able to kind of manipulate the water levels and we hunted the wind better and our hides were a lot better. And we, I think that contributed to our success as far as getting them in the decoys and killing them on the water. We joked a lot about, you know, kind of a triangle. There's a triangle that I've heard in life is you either have uh, you know, time, energy, and money. You can always have two, but you never have all three. So when you're young, you have time and energy, but no money. And then when you're old, you have time and money, but no energy. And it seemed for us, it was water level, weather, and birds. So we either had, you know, we'd have fresh birds and good weather, but the water level would be ridiculously high or something. Or we'd have good water level with good good birds but the weather be 70 degrees and tornadoes and so we never could seem to line up all three well one thing too about hunting in big water is you're fighting with live birds that are definitely you know within ra viewing range of the bir these birds are flying and so you're trying to break a few off in the big groups and you're trying to a lot of times you're just trying to get a look mm -hmm. you know you don't really expect to finish mm -hmm. them you're just trying to get a look because I mean, it's, it's hard to compete with real real birds. And, and that's a, that, I didn't mean to cut you there off, you but go. that's a big thing in our region. You know, when you're hunting uh, in Alabama, we hunt a big, long, wide open river. And a lot of that entails uh, getting out close to the main river channel, hunting these mud flats. And there's a lot of good that can come from that, but there's also a lot of, uh, you hunt them and kill them in one area, and then they're just gonna move 500 yards down well, 500 yards down might not be shallow enough to build a blind or even anchor the boat or whatever. You know, they're, they're not con constrained into uh, these certain areas. They can go wherever they want. So it makes it kind of hard. People do it one, one way and we do it another way. I mean, it's just something that um, we can all agree on that we love to kill ducks. Um, I love the outdoors. That's something that's big for me. Um, you know, I didn't go on a lot of trips where we did kill ducks and, and that didn't bother me one bit. I enjoyed. Um, getting out there on the water, um, watching the sunrise. I was the coffee man, always had coffee. You know, our strategy being different than last year, and this is the first year I've kind of hunted like this where you bring your own blind, you know, you set up in the, the mud flat or whatever. So this year we took that mindset, we hunted the same areas 
with with different uh, plans and we went out and focused mainly on the main river um, and mud flats and stuff that, that we have been comfortable with whereas last year we we did some things that we weren't as comfortable with this year we kind of got back to our roots uh, we focus as you know you know we're out on the Tennessee River a lot uh, so this year we focused on Pickwick Lake and Wheeler Lake you know some people would say all that work for 43 ducks yeah, yeah. what I say is I'm proud of those 43 ducks because yeah. we worked hard for those 43 ducks and, and that might that might be better than you know some people it might be worse than some people hunting the same areas but we don't care because we're worried about our journey yeah. and and how it affects us and, and I, we, keep, I keep going back to the species thing yeah we killed nine different species and that's cool and we enjoy the comments negative positive whatever it may be um, you know we can learn something off of every comment so um, I mean I know we've had some negative ones but mm -hmm. I know people ask why we don't call it birds yeah why we don't call. i can't call I, a, I don't call and, and that's an experience thing you know none of us are are award-winning callers to begin with but we've also been we've also hunted a couple hundred yards from people that are just wailing on them yeah and we've seen the negative effects of that so we try to find a happy medium i joke with people uh the first hunt we went on this year so we had a group cooper calls like the third group that came through cooper called at them and they just turned and went the other way. <laughs> yeah. so, well, not doing that again. We're done with that. <laughs> that we didn't call it again time. for the season. Yeah. yeah. The opening day. <laughs> didn't even have a call on the boat. No, there ain't no reason to bring them. But anyway, we're excited for what's 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 ahead. Yeah, you big know? things coming. Yeah, big things coming. It's February right now. The season's over. Uh, we just got off the water fishing. But, but we're excited because uh, we're all going to be doing fishing videos all year coming up. We've got turkey hunting coming up, which we're going to be big, big in too. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. We we had a de we had a better year last year than, than normal, but uh, so this year we're really excited. We got three or four farms we're going to hunt this year, so um, we're excited to make turkey hunting videos. And so tell us about what what's coming up next with us, you and me. Um, so probably starting right before turkey season, uh, me and Cooper we're going to start a podcast. Um, we're gonna call it real life. Yep, uh, doing real life be me and Cooper. Um, we'll have some guests. Um, try to try to incorporate some guests every now and then. And um, that is real life. R E E L. Did I say three L's or yeah. two L's? As many <laughs> E's as you want. Many E's as you want to yeah. put in it. Yeah. Um, and then we're gonna start with two, <laughs> and we're gonna keep on going. <laughs> so we're looking forward to that. Uh, we're gonna talk about everything from turkey hunting, fishing, um, football basketball um, and duck hunting obviously um, that's something that I'm looking forward to um, I'm also planning to start a YouTube channel uh, once I get a boat again um, kind of going through some life changes right now getting a new job getting married in March yeah uh, so big things coming for me um, I got to get settled down and then we'll get some things rolling but yeah I'm looking forward to it it's gonna yeah. be a great year and then and then the infamous camera man yeah what do you got going on so I've got kind of started my own business, uh, out, outdoor lifestyle photographer, but that's kind of photographer's loose. It's more of a content creator. So it's videos, photography, and that's for, for brands. Or I've done a few hunts this year with uh, people taking their son on their first hunts and you know things like that. Just trying to document these special moments uh, for individuals, or you know trying to get brands products in action we're all now moving on to our new heights and doing it together and and the common theme between all of us is is the fact that we love doing what we do yeah. love being outdoors we love being outdoors and we want to share that with everybody else and so uh, we're starting this 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 whole this group of different content from each of us that is going to work together for one common goal about to uh we're actually going to have a squirrel hunting video before turkey hunting yes. starts. Um, yes. Deer season is ending. Um, Y'all probably are not going to enjoy us just shooting squirrels off of deer feeders, but <laughs> I'm tired of them messing up my deer feeders, so we're going to go with a 22. And, and we're hungry. I love squirrels. Love Fried squirrel. squirrel can't yeah. beat it. Um, so squirrel hunting video coming. Um, we might even get some dogs in there. Um, so I'm looking yeah. forward to that. That's going to be something different. It's going to be something different for all of us. I mean, we're going to be we're going to be doing all kinds of stuff outdoors and filming it. Well, we appreciate y'all coming along. 
We appreciate y'all watching this year, this hunting series and the fishing videos before, and, and, and we look forward to bringing more.